But the high point of the day is still the rodeo, which starts with the team penning. Now, one of the fastest growing equine sports in the USA. And the beauty is that the rules can be varied to suit local circumstances. Sometimes five riders, sometimes three, and even the number of cattle varies from place to place. Here in Slope, they're pulling three cattle from a herd of 18, all fresh off the pasture. Apart from the mixed nature of the teams with mums and daughters involved, you can also stay in the money by getting two cows in quickly rather than going for all three. The animals we saw earlier at Abilene have been used for many, many penning events and know the score. It's often the case that these cattle at the local events can be much tougher to handle. They don't understand that it's just a game. Having come fresh off the range, they have a highly developed desire not to get separated from their mates. They just won't do what they're supposed to. the public spirited nature of the owner of these animals. He's a local rancher. It's almost a hundred degrees in the shade. These animals are shedding pounds and pounds of condition. Then there's the rodeo featuring team roping events where there are no women competing. Where the times are far from brilliant, but here's the thing, no one misses a throw. <laughs> These guys really know how to rope cows. And even that mistake was because the cow got a leg caught over the rope but it still came down. Plenty of women and girls doing the breakaway roping though, and they all score points. Never a miss. There's a bit of excellently executed calf roping. But it's when it comes to the pure rodeo events that things start to fall apart a bit. Just one steer wrestling failed because no one really wrestles steers on the range. The girls doing the goat tying are extremely fast and make some pretty spectacular running dismounts. No matter how fast you are though, if the goat doesn't stay tied up, you're wasting your time. With the saddle bronx, the rides tend to be a bit on the short side, with only two completed rides. 
Bareback riding produces some pretty good tumbles. And as for the bull riders, many brave men turn up to have a go. Bulls are the ones winning the prizes. And they're plenty aggressive enough. Only one eight second ride that afternoon. And to round off an almost perfect day, the people of Slope County put on a traditional American melodrama. Bizarre costumes, dodgy characters, some truly terrible jokes and the acting as bad as any that can be found in a village pantomime back in England. This is a slice of America few people are privileged to see. And all for five dollars a head. <laughs> 